Good morning, and welcome to Thursday Morning Prayer with St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City. We thank you for joining us this morning and remind you that our morning prayer service is guided by the Mission St. Clair app, which you can get on your phone or tablet, or you can join along with us using the Book of Common Prayer, and an order of service was sent out earlier this morning. As always, we invite you to leave us a comment or reaction so that we know that you are here praying with us, so that we can pray with and for you. Let us pray. If anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Spirit of the Lord renews the face of the earth. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Please join me now as we say together the Venite, that portion of Psalm 95. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord renews the face of the earth. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Our psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm number 18, part 1. Let us say this together. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my stronghold, my crag, and my haven, my God, my rock, in whom I put my trust, my shield, the horn of my salvation, and my refuge, you are worthy of praise. I will call upon the Lord, and so shall I be saved from my enemies. 
The breakers of death rolled over me. The torrents of oblivion made me afraid. The cords of hell entangled me, and the snares of death were set for me. I called upon the Lord in my distress and cried out to my God for help. He heard my voice from his heavenly dwelling. My cry of anguish came to his ears. The earth reeled and rocked. The roots of the mountains shook. They reeled because of his anger. Smoke rose from his nostrils and a consuming fire out of his mouth. Hot burning coals blazed forth from him. He parted the heavens and came down with a storm cloud under his feet. He mounted on cherubim and flew. He swooped on the wings of the wind. He wrapped darkness about him. He made dark waters and thick clouds his pavilion. From the brightness of his presence through the clouds burst hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord thundered out of heaven. The Most High uttered his voice. He loosed his arrows and scattered them. He hurled thunderbolts and routed them. The beds of the seas were undercovered, and the foundations of the world laid bare. At your battle cry, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. He reached down from on high and grasped me. He drew me out of great waters. He delivered me from my strong enemies and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into an open place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Old Testament lesson this morning comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 7. My child, keep my words and store up my commandments with you. Keep my commandments and live. Keep my teachings as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister and call insight your intimate friend, that they may keep you from the loose woman, from the adulteress with her smooth words. For at the window of my house, I looked out through my lattice, and I saw among the simple ones, I observed among the youths, a young man without sense, passing along the street near her corner, taking the road to her house. In the twilight, in the evening, at the time of night and darkness. Then a woman comes toward him, decked out like a prostitute, wily of heart. She is loud and wayward. Her feet do not stay at home. Now on the street, now on the squares, and at every corner she lies in wait. She seizes him and kisses him. And with impudent face, she says to him, I had to offer sacrifices, and today I have paid my vows. So now I have come out to meet you, to seek you eagerly, and I have found you. I have decked my couch with coverings, colored spreads of Egyptian linen. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until morning. Let us delight ourselves with love. For my husband is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He took a bag of money with him. He will not come home until full moon. With much seductive speech, she, she persuades him. With her smooth talk, she compels him. Right away, he follows her 
and goes like an ox to the slaughter, or bounds like a stag toward the trap, until an arrow pierces its entrails. He is like a bird rushing into a snare, not knowing that it will cost him his life. And now, my children, listen to me, and be attentive to the words of my mouth. Do not let your hearts turn aside to her ways. Do not stray into her paths. For many are those she has laid low, and numerous are her victims. Her house is the way of Sheol, going down to the chambers of death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now say together Canticle A, a song of wisdom. Wisdom freed from a nation of oppressors, a holy people and a blameless race. She entered the soul of a servant of the Lord, withstood dread rulers with wonders and signs. To the saints she gave the reward of their labors and led them by a marvelous way. She has their shelter by day and a blaze of stars by night. She brought them across the Red Sea. She led them through mighty waters. But their enemies she swallowed in the waves and spewed them out from the depths of the abyss. And then, Lord, the righteous sang hymns to your name and praised with one voice your protecting hand. For wisdom opened the mouths of the mute and gave speech to the tongues of a newborn people. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our New Testament lesson comes from the first letter of John, chapter 5. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. And this is the boldness we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have obtained the request made of him. If you see your brother or sister committing what is not a mortal sin, you will ask and God will give life to such a one, to those whose sin is not mortal. There is sin that is mortal. I do not say that you should pray about that. All wrongdoing is sin, but there is sin that is not mortal. We know that those who are born of God do not sin, but the one who is born of God protects them and the evil one does not touch them. We know that we are God's children and that the whole world lies under the power of the evil one. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know him who is true and we are in him who is true, in his Son, Jesus Christ. He is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now say together canticle number 20, Glory to God. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks. We praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you only are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. 
Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Gospel reading this morning comes from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 11. At that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent, and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now reaffirm our beliefs in the words of the Apostles' Creed. We will say this together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us now say together the prayer that our Lord and Savior taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us now say together the prayer suffrages for the day. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Day by day, govern and uphold them, now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Almighty and merciful God, in your goodness keep us, we pray, from all things that may hurt us, that we, being ready both in mind and body, may accomplish with free hearts those things which belong to your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you for all members of your holy church that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 
O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning. Drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness while it was day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This morning in the World Cycle of Prayer, we pray for the people of Haiti. We continue to pray for the people of Israel and all of those affected and impacted by the turmoil in the Middle East. In our ecumenical cycle of prayer, we pray for our sisters and brothers, members of the United Protestant Church of Curacao. Let us now pray for our own needs and those of others. Gracious God, we do lift up to you this day, St. Mary's Episcopal Church and her people, beseeching you to guide, guard, and protect us and give us your grace and blessing as we do your ministry in this place. We lift up to you all of those on our parish prayer list, those preparing for or recovering from surgeries and procedures, those with need of ongoing care and healing, and those with urgent need this day. Are there those to be named? Butch, George, Brad, Keenan, Edie, Tammy, Chuck. Are there others to be named? Gracious God, I also lift up to you this day in Thanksgiving, Sharon, Casey and Crawford, Jessica and Kate. I pray for Sue, for Kelly, for Becky and Mike. I pray for Lauren and Alexa, for David and John. I pray for Enid, and I pray for Jan. Gracious God, I lift up to you Bob, Dee, and Adam, Haley, Morgan, Emma, and Ryan, Bo and Patty, Kevin and Cindy, Kyle, Jordan, Jamie, and Ryan. Are there others for which you give thanksgiving? Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, guide the nations of the world into the way of justice and truth and establish among them that peace which is the fruit of righteousness, that they may become the kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, we commend to your gracious care and keeping all the men and women of our armed forces, National Guard and first responders at home and abroad. Defend them day by day with your heavenly grace. Strengthen them in their trials and temptations. Give them courage to face the perils which beset them and grant them a sense of your abiding presence wherever they may be. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, in giving us dominion over things on earth, you made us fellow workers in your creation. Give us wisdom and reverence so to use the resources of nature that no one may suffer from our abuse of them and that generations yet to come may continue to praise you for your bounty. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And let us now, with special intention, pray together the prayer attributed to St. Francis as we pray for peace. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, 
faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. For the means of grace, and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. And Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit <laughs> rest upon you this morning and forevermore. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we thank you for joining us this morning for our morning prayer service. As always, we invite you to our Sunday services of worship and praise at 7.45 and 10 o'clock. As always, I beseech you to take care of yourself, show yourself self-care physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Reach out to those you love. See how you might be a blessing to them. Call someone you haven't talked to in a while. You might be the only voice they hear this day. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I wish you a blessed morning. May God be with you this day and always.